Let's open this. Please be good. Please be a legendary. How to get an RGB box every day in Adopt Me. But first, leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to get a free dream pet. So, Adopt Me's task board update was recently introduced. And as you might notice, you can actually go and get yourself a task every single day. Now, the question is, how do you go and get yourself an RGB box every day? Today, I'm going to explain how you can actually get hundreds of RGB boxes every single day inside of Adopt Me. I'm going to start by going and completing my first task, which is give or receive an ultra rare in a trade. So I'm just going to go and trade this random guy who is right here and give him a lovely, completely free scarab because I believe that this pet is ultra rare and it says I have to go and trade one. So let's go and do this to complete my task and then I will explain how we can actually go and get ourselves an RGB box and we'll also be going and opening up some RGB boxes boxes in this video so if you are intrigued or what you can actually go and get out of this box then keep watching until the end. As you can see we have just gone and traded myself a ultra rare. I'm pretty sure that's what my task was to go and do which I can then go and claim and hopefully by claiming it I'll then get something good. Claim, there we go, just a hundred bucks, okay, lovely. So, a bunch of you guys are questioning, how do you go and get all of these RGB boxes inside of Adopt Me? It's a very hard item to go and get, so it should definitely have a high rarity, with a 1 in 25 odds of going and getting yourself a legendary, and the legendaries are either a squid or a chameleon, two very sought after rare legendary pets that are going to be very difficult to go and trade for, as these things are so difficult to get. As you might notice, you only go and get one task every single 24 hours. But guys, there's a loophole. As always, there seems to be a way that you can go and get around something. A technique that you can go and do to go and get yourself extra tasks. Now, let me show you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we're about to go and do is create a new Roblox account. That's right, the loophole to going and doing this is by going and creating a new Roblox account which is kind of ridiculous because when you create a new Roblox account, what it then does is means you can get a new daily task on it, okay? So what you need to do is keep going and creating these accounts and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I've now created myself a new account. We could go and hop into Adopt Me, and you do have to do a few things, such as go and get a trading license if you do somewhat go and get yourself the RGB box. You will need it to go and trade or gift this item. But since this is a new account, since we have played, like, um, we just made it, we can now go and get a daily task. Okay, so let's see. The daily task on this account is achieve a three day lock and streak. Okay, that one, a bit boring. I, I really don't want a task that is achieve a three day lock in streak because I don't have three days and you can't like refresh it or anything. Um, so what we want to do is just go and use a different account. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this and try again. Okay, testing number two, where we're going and just using my second account. So I actually made like a bunch of accounts for when the Saint Bernard came out. So I could literally claim a free Saint Bernard on every account. Now, hopefully we go and get ourselves a different task on this account. It is actually random of what you can go and get from this. But this one seems to be pretty generic of achieve a three day login streak as well, which is quite strange. Okay, so we're gonna go and try this again, and oops, it seems Roblox is, um, Roblox is down. Well, that's great. Thank you, Roblox. Thank you very much. Okay, try number four. Let's go and see if this works. Claim on this, and you'll see there is a continued theme, isn't there, guys? On every single new account that we have created, the task is to achieve a three-day login streak. Okay, I think... There is a reason behind this. Adomi's clearly caught on to the fact that people might make a bunch of alts to try and claim the RGB boxes. Yet, I'm sure there is a way we can fix this. Okay, I'm just gonna guarantee this by making a new account, choosing the role and checking, and yes. It says to achieve a three day login streak. Now, what will happen after that is after we go and complete this, 
we will go and start getting new tasks. So basically, to go and do this, it does kind of take an investment. An investment where you have to log on to each account every single day in hope that on one of those accounts, you will then go and get the task board reward, which goes and gives you um, the RGB box, okay? So that's kind of how this will work. You'll need to go and log on to each account every single day to go and get yourself the task board task that goes and rewards you with an RGB box. There are some tasks available, such as Make a Mega Neon, which actually rewards you with three of these RGB boxes. Three for making a Mega Neon, that is pretty cool. The only thing is, we have to wait 24 hours in between each one. If you do go and get the task on your alt account, which is make a neon, make sure you just trade four common neon or ordinary pets that are fully aged from your main account and transfer them to the alt. You'll then try go and make the neon and get the box and then go and give the box to your main account. And by doing so, you now have gone and got yourself a completely free task box reward of an RGB box, which is really cool and actually a really easy way to go and get this. I know some people might be like, oh, it takes a while. Well, that's literally the only way. I guess if you really want to, you could wait 24 hours on your main account every day in hope that it would go and give it to you. But this way, you could literally make 100 accounts and then log into those 100 accounts every day, check back on it, and wait until you actually go and get an RGB box as a task to go and complete. I mean, there literally could be a day, if you have 100 accounts, where like 50 of them give you an RGB box. So my other friendly tip is to go and start aging up fully your most common pets. That way, it's like the easiest thing to age up. I believe it's quicker than going and aging a legendary, so definitely go and do that. You get less tasks for the age, so it's easier to go and level these things up. Make a family, make your alts into a family, and start aging up those cats and dogs. As you know, you'll be needing those to go and get the lovely brand new task boxes um, yeah, it's really cool and I'm definitely excited to try and get some of these. I'll definitely be doing this on a bunch of my accounts. It's not against like the terms of service or anything, I'm pretty sure, because you can literally make as many Roblox accounts as you like, which is pretty cool. And another bonus is you're actually going and getting like star rewards as well. So if I log in for like 10 days, I will actually go and get myself like a free small gift and then a free big gift and just a bunch of things which you can then go and trade to your main account alongside bucks like this alt account already has 250 bucks and it's literally done nothing and you still have the starter egg so do as you wish make some alt accounts make sure you level them up log in every day for three days and even if you just log in one day and then you log in the next day, I'll go and get myself another task as you can actually go and stack these tasks, which is pretty cool. But as for now, we just need to wait for three days on a multiple accounts. Let me know down below in the comment section, is this something that you guys are interested and you're actually going to be going and doing? As I know trading for some of these brand new pets is literally ridiculous. I've seen people trying to trade like mega neon like pets just to go and get a chameleon or just to go and get the brand new squid, which is literally insane. Obviously the value of these pets is gonna drop quickly because they'll soon be more readily available. But as for now, definitely some pretty hard pets to go and get your hands on. There is Mr. Chameleon, I'm not sure where the squid is. And there is the squid right there. Pretty cool pets. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you will be going and doing this, now it's time to open up the RGB box. So when you go and click on this thing, it actually tells you the rarities, which is pretty cool. 4.5% legendary is still very slim, 7% ultra rare, 14 5% rare. There's definitely some pretty cool things inside of here. Some rare pet accessories like a vehicle, the pets, obviously we want the pets. So... Let's go and open this up, guys. Comment down below what you think I'm gonna hatch. Three, two, one. Let's open this. Okay, hands in the air. Please be good. Please be a legendary. Please, please, please. What is that? 
I got... Is that a laptop? <laughs> a laptop? I didn't even know that was in that. Is it a toy? It's not a toy. Is it... Is it petware? Guys, what, what did I just get? Okay. Oh, it's a rare RGB laptop. Definitely not what I was hoping for. But at least it's um it's better than nothing. It could have been a common. Um, it's, it's petware though. A rare petware. And then it's got like the little Adopt Me loading screen on it. Which is pretty cool. I do like that little addition. Obviously, I'm trading it back to the person who went and gave me the box to open. As uh, they said, I could go and open it on the video. But that's pretty cool. Hopefully, I'll be able to go and open up some more in the future. And we will go and get ourselves the legendary chameleon. Let me know down below in the comment section. If you've gone and hatched one, use star code CANDY, like this video, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.